part two, do an overview on the range results of the 140 grain Nosler partition. Uh, 264 bullet shot out of the 6.5 Creed bore. The high velocity one was running just over 2700 feet per second with a retained weight of 104.8. My low velocity one was running just under 2,000 feet per second with a retained weight of 132.7 and would have been the equivalent of roughly a 440 yard shot when punching the uh, high velocity load into the ballistics calculator. You can see the mushrooms on those. They both did a pretty excellent job overall. Move this out of the way. On the left here, we have left to right or high velocity load. And where it impacted the gel and started mushrooming was three quarters of an inch in. You have that massive permanent wound channel running from the inch and a half mark to the 11 and a half inch mark with the permanent wound channel carrying that rough probably one inch diameter to almost a 16 inch mark. At its max I'd hit a little low on the block but I'm not quite torn on all four sides. And that's five and a half inch by six inch block. Um, that bullet, I pulled it out of the jail. I marked it here. It stopped at 27 and three eighths of overall penetration at the higher velocity. Lower velocity, my first round was really low and hit the table. So I shot a second one to get more accurate results. It started its mushroom at about an inch and a quarter in from the two inch mark to that 13 inch mark. You have your massive portion of the permanent wound cavity, permanent wound cavity carrying to just past the 17 inch mark. As far as decent permanent wound cavity and then it pin lined to the 29 and 7 eighths. So overall, I'm very pleased with these bullets. Uh, we definitely tore the side of my gel there. So we're looking at a good 4 inch permanent loom cavity there. Bullets did an excellent job. I think I could highly recommend them. Um, I've only ever hunted elk with them out of the 200 plus grains in a 338 wind mag and they phenomenal round on elk but I think you could take this 6.5 Creedmoor and legitimately hunt elk to about 500 yards with no real concerns that bullet is definitely going to perform and perform well at both high and low velocities without uh, grotesque over fragmentation at high velocities like a lot of lead core bullets um, but still performing at the low velocities like a good lead core bullet so that partition really makes it perform at the higher velocities more like a copper but at the lower velocities you still get that uh, massive trauma you're looking for to knock an animal down if these weren't quite so expensive I'd probably hunt a little more with them because the gel doesn't lie those are phenomenal results it's really 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 hard to beat those results they're not opening up way too fast they're getting into that vital region there are extensive damage in that vital region um, and deep good deep penetration so I'd have uh, no qualms hunting any any big game animal in the lower 48 out to about 400 yards would be real comfortable with this bullet shot out of the 6.5 green wall. Hope you guys enjoy.